Hi, and welcome back. Today I have a deck called High Evo on Sale. This is a High Evo deck, of course, and it has cards that can get discounted costs. My rank is 6,355, and we will see how high we can climb. I think I float. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Alrighty, first up we have Fly. My starting hand is pretty good. Sunspot, White Widow, Hazmat. The big house is a very good location for me. I think I will play, because I have cards, that, big cards that can get discounted. Under normal circumstances, I would play Sunspot into the big house, but because we can get big power in there later, that's the route I will take. So my next turn with Abomination in hand, I want more cards on their side of the board. So I, I think I'm going to pass. That way, next turn, I can play White Widow and then presumably they will have more cards. Okay, more discounts. This is exactly what this deck is built for. Uh, this is going to be an odd game. Uh, do I snap now? Abomination should be free next turn. I will have a Widow's Kiss down, Ant-Man, two Raptors. So I'm in a very strong position. I'm going to snap. I'm going to play White Widow down here, block more of what they want to do with Ant-Man. So it's really just a rock I'm sending them, it will be zero power. This is also a Spectrum deck, and the Widow's Kiss is an ongoing. Oh, fantastic block. So we rob them of, of a... Maybe this isn't a... Uh... A... Spectrum deck. So this is shaping up very nicely because I'm going to play Hazmat and then I can skip next turn. Or do I not skip next turn? Maybe I play Mockingbird now. I play Mockingbird now. Abomination will be free. I could play She Hulk next turn. If I have two, She-Hulk will be four. I'm just going to see how this shakes out. We will play... I'll play down Mockingbird now. Okay, free Abomination. Okay, we definitely soak now. She-Hulk will be one. I can Rogue their Dazzler potentially. Abomination, of course, is free, so we will just skip. Okay, so I should win. This should win there. Right. I am soaking with Sunspot two, an extra two points. And... They definitely have a way to put power in other lanes. I was going to say this might be a Cerebro 3 deck with Valkyrie, but that's unlikely with Ant-Man. And Ant-Man will get the bonus anyway. So I think we just stack, get as much power left and right. And I just play Abomination middle, and let's see how this goes. That's a big flip, right? Mockingbird, Blue Marvel is just not enough. Just like that. First win in the books. These locations really help. We also have Mysterio in the deck to discount Mockingbird. Abomination, you saw how easy that was. But these locations were very advantageous for us. And that's why we snapped as early as I thought was possible. Once I recognized how cheap my cards were going to be, 
And this is just the perfect showcase of how this deck can work. Behold my creations. Okay, next up we have pie charts. Do not subscribe. This channel is a secret. We are set up decently for a White Widow into Cyclops. And I think I will just play out White Widow now. Yes, White Widow now. I will play the Cyclops down either next turn or this turn. I will play Cyclops down next turn. I will play the Sentinel right for the bonus. The reason I'm playing Cyclops down on turn four is I want the trigger to be unexpected. If you play Cyclops on three, they have time to shift and avoid the first hit that Cyclops will give them. So we will not do that. Or maybe I play Cyclops right, because then I would be denied a draw if I don't. So I think that's what I do. I can always get power, more power left Wind later if I need to. Do I avoid flooding or do I... Because they can always move the Jeff there. So they would only need to play six power. I think I float. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, are you kidding me? The blink into... Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, they got me. The blink into Storm, pure flooded. Oh, what a game. Okay, we're up against Luke 3 Tuck. We get Sunspot down first. We do have White Widow and Cyclops, which are both fantastic. I am tempted to play White Widow left because they probably won't fill. And I am going to skip. Okay, they have Red Hulk, which is a direct counter to this deck. Lechagia. Okay, so I'm just gonna play down White Widow left like I said I was, which means I'm going to play Cyclops middle. What in the world? Hope into Vibranium Mines. That's wacky. <laughs> I'm going to play Cyclops. Hmm. Do I have the tools I need? I don't want priority. This is my problem. I want to be able to Sean. So I'm going to play into Vibranium Mines again. I figure they're going to play. Yeah, they did. But boy, this is a lot of Vibranium. And then Kitty. And then maybe they're gonna play a early. Maybe they're gonna play a early uh, Red Hulk. But they might play an early Red Hulk. And I. I think I wanna snap into that. Abomination is at three. So I kind of need to play Hazmat. Snap. 
gonna snap. I'm just gonna keep filling up my <laughs> keep filling up my uh, deck with vibranium, and I'm kind of banking on them playing down their big card now with the extra energy, which gives me a Sean target. So this is kind of a risky snap, but that's what I do. So let's see. Okay, Abomination is going to be one cost. And there it is. Okay. So I think I play for all lanes. They have a lot of Vibranium, though. <laughs> They have a lot of Vibranium. And the Vibranium would go middle. Hmm. So, I mean, I definitely play Sean here. And I think I pass on the Cyclops triggers. So if I play Abomination, this gets me to 10, this gets me to 13. So I think this should be enough. Okay, let's order for maximum effect. We play the Vibranium first. We play the Abomination next, and then we finish with the Sean. And again, I'm abandoning middle because it is likely that that is where they would put the Vibranium. And that is, they put the Doom Bot there. And just like that, we properly assessed what they were doing. They walked right into a Shang-Chi. We put the power where it needed to be, our discounted on sale power. And we got another one. Okay, next up we have Lil Alex Horn. Mojo World. Let's see what type of deck we're up against. We are up against a Loki deck, so they definitely can fill left. So I probably give up on left. I will play the Mysterio down right. We will just think that the right location is fine. We get the plus two from Panopticron. But a Loki deck is kind of strong into our deck. They don't get our high Evo type cards. They do have priority. So because they have priority, I think I'm gonna play Hazmat and just get down the Sunspots. I'll get down the sunspot left. We still may end up punting the left location. But we do have big cards. I can soak with sunspot if necessary. So it just kind of gives me some options. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Oh, what a flip. <laughs> so if you get this flip, you really should snap. Like they, that was a 13 point random difference. So they really should have snapped. Uh, turn four. I don't have much to do. I think I will play... I'll just play out high Evo. Right. This, of course, is going to be my Sean lane. What are you at? You're at one. Oh, this is shaping up to be a very nice last turn. So I can, next turn I will actually be able to play, I'm going to soak, I'll, be, I'll actually be able to play Sean, Mockingbird, and She-Hulk. They did not play. Okay, they did not play Loki. 
So now I have decisions to make. This Mysterial is actually three, so I'm at plus four. So I'm at eight here. A Sean here would put me at 11, and they're at two. And then it's just a gamble. Do they move the Jeff? They have priority, so I'm not at risk of a Sean. I think I still abandon left. Perfect. Perfect play. And so this is why early on I played as many cards as I did left. I need them to think I'm going to challenge left. So that way they know they can't give it up. I need to keep my opponent on their toes, Victory. which is what I did. I have Sean to clean up the large card I know is here, <laughs> and, and uh, I went hard middle with the discounted cards. That's why this is a high evo on sale. And we gave up left, hoping they would commit left, which is exactly what they did. My okay, we have Squanchinator, Mockingbird, White Widow, and Sean. The Widow's Bite also discounts Abomination, which is interesting. Quinjet, so we have a Loki deck. Kiln is actually nice. So. I'm just going to put Sunspot there, and we will soak a bunch. I may put the White Widow down now, middle also. So even though it'll be zero, because if they don't play now, I could actually sneak the Abomination in, because the Abomination will be four cost. So do I snap into this? I'll snap into this. I like Kiln. And sun, with Sunspot, so I can always soak if necessary. And if they if they play into here now, well, they're just done. If they don't, I can see, sneak my Abomination in there. Okay, so they did play here, so they're just done there. So I can just soak and win that location. And I think that's what I do. So I might actually soak for two turns. We will see. Because on the last turn, I could play Mockingbird and or Abomination and She-Hulk. I could play Sean and She-Hulk. So I will have options. I could play She-Hulk now. I could play Hazmat. That discounts my Abomination. One, two, three, four, five. So my abomination is free. I don't want to pass that up. I will take a free abomination. And I'll still win Kiln. Now I might take priority here, which is a little risky. But also with a free abomination, I, I just can't pass that up. And I forgot to check how many cards they got of mine. Oh, that's a fantastic hazmat hit. And they did keep priority. So now it is... I think it's just Magneto and Abomination. Don't get cute. And I play them both right that negates the widow's kiss and i'm not convinced that they can put out more power more than this power so this is 21 and this widow's kiss 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's definitely more than enough. And it would have been more than enough we left as well, actually. There you go. Discount coming in handy. Now, you might wonder, why am I running Hazmat without Luke Cage? Victory. And this is why. <laughs> so, if I get down an early She-Hulk, I can actually play Hazmat after and get She-Hulk down to 9 to uh, sidestep a Shang-Chi. But also, as long as the opponent just has more cards on the board than me, the Hazmat is actually worth a bunch more points for me, even even though I'm not running Luke Cage. And yes, Luke Cage could double that amount, but I find it's kind of unnecessary, especially because we're getting a discounted Abomination. We potentially have a discounted She-Hulk and Mockingbird. So this is a lot of power I can slam on the last turn that can overcome any potential negative power that Hazmat gives my side of the board. Okay, so we broke into top 6,000. We are 5,800 and change. We started in the 6,000, so we've definitely gained some more ranks. So this deck, uh, I'm having fun with it. I like playing a bunch of cheap cards out on the last turn. We have Rogue in this deck to fight back against potential Mobiuses, against potential Luke Cages from the enemy's side, as long as they play them down early-ish. I have three cards that can get discounted heavily. We have Abomination through the Negative Affliction. We have Mockingbird through Mysterio and other locations like Monster Isle Island, like Central City with the Squirrels. We have She-Hulk where I can skip turns to discount her. Sunspot can soak up that energy. I have White Widow to junk up my opponent. I have Cyclops to give more negative affliction. There's just a lot to do here. For some substitutions, you can substitute Magneto out for uh, High Evo Hulk. You could maybe find room for a Wasp. Uh, if you're feeling bold, you can exchange out Rogue or maybe even Shang-Chi. Uh, but I found having those two tech cards are good for the last turn, especially Sean because you can play him down. You sometimes have a one cost She-Hulk. You have a one or zero cost Abomination. So that's just a big point swing when you factor in Shang-Chi. And then with Rogue, you have ongoing decks, which you can, of course, steal their ongoing power and buffs. Patriot, Devil Dino, Darkhawk. You can also, again, use her as a more of a tech card. You can shut down opponents, Mobius, Luke Cage, uh, and so on and so forth. So this deck kind of has some flexibility. Uh, you see, I used it to climb and it's a fantastic deck. So until next time, take care.